Hello and welcome to this video. We are going to be considering how to resolve this relative story drift exceed the limit in the direction one. This is a warning, okay, given after the analysis of a structure in plotter structure. So being a warning, it doesn't really terminate the analysis. The analysis will be successful, but you have to make sure you correct this because this warning is very important is not what an engineer should neglect so when you talk about story drift you know it is a displacement between each of the story a displacement with respect to each of the stories okay because a story drift limit should not exceed 0 0.004 times the story height so if you take for instance the story height to be three meters so your story drift should not exceed three times zero point zero zero four equals so it should exceed zero point zero one two okay so in both direction y and x all right which is direction one and two so once it exceeds that value you have this warning here so once you have this warning you can see here stiffness should be increased and this analysis must be repeated okay so you have to increase the stiffness of this structure and then carry out the building analysis increase the stiffness of the structure has to do with the uh, structural members sections basically the, the first concrete uh, columns all right you have to reject the column sections and then be able to get the right sections and then you can be able to cut out this successfully so we are going to be doing that right away all right, as I've analyzed this, this is what I have. So, work on this successfully in this video. Stay tuned, stay connected, and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. So, reason. we make progress. I click on the OK options right there. After which, you can see analysis is successful, showing this green check, but that warning is still there. So, you have to correct it and run the analysis again. So, I click on the close options. So, for me, you can see. All, how this structure is being designed and the sections of the structural columns like for this one you we check here you can see i have 300 by 450 for this one i am having uh 450 by 230 millimeters as the column sections all right so what i will do to this structure now is this i will need to select this foundation to first floor columns and i will right click and go to the properties in these properties instead of using a rectangular columns i want to be using 300 by 300 column sections for this structure this is a time stand as you can see okay it's been loaded successfully so what i'll do just to try the section if it will pass design i will select that provisions i will have to nullify the analysis and then I click on the okay so all of these sections in the b directions of the uh columns uh, sections is going to be 300 and then this side is going to be the same thing. So I will have here to be 300 as well. I will try 300 millimeter sections by 300 millimeter section to see, okay, for that level of this uh, structure. For this level, I've changed it just like this, okay. Now for this level, what I will do is I will have to reduce these column sections by 50, all right. So I will select all of the sections right there and click on this property. In this property, the B uh, directions I will select B2. I can have here to be 250, all right. I have it to be 250 or 275, all right. Just draw about 250 or 275. So let me use 275 instead of 300, 275, just like this, okay. And then over to this side, I will change it all to 275. 275 just like this and click on the okay option just like this and close this so coming to the last uh columns here i will select all of that in properties then here i'll have it i'll be having 250 by 250. uh sorry i have 275 okay so i can have here to be 250 all right 250 right here click on the okay options and then over here i still have 250 all right then i'll click on the okay options just like this okay 
So you can see that my column sections varies for stories successfully, just like this. So this is the change I've made to this for now. We're going to run the analysis to see if this will actually pass design successfully. So we set this project first, after which we get to the analysis right there, and then we get to analysis options. We check the structural model if it is actually modeled correctly. So we have zero error meaning without have issue with the model. Click on the building analysis. So we see this warning, this one, FE load decomposition is being used for some beams, but it's out of date for the following story. Okay, you have to update the FE load decompositions. So I will update the FE load decompositions. Okay, so you see what I will do here. I will close this. This may not uh, permit analysis. Okay, that one it may not permit analysis. I will close this. So I will get to this load decomposition option. This tab click right there. So you see, it is the one that we have that issue. So it's get that selected and then calculate the slab load. Okay, so here is the slab load and that's uh, story one. This calculated. Click on the OK options and then analysis is completed. Click on close options. Now we want to get to right run the main analysis of the structure so click right there and then get to the analysis tab within analysis we wouldn't, we wouldn't have that one again because we have collected it just like this building analysis so let's wash it out and see what we have at the end of the building analysis of this structure So you see, we still have the same wording. Simply means the displacement is still much, all right? So what we do, click on the OK option, and then we close this. We have to increase the column sections here. So we select that, we click, and then we are going to be using the properties. Instead of 300, let's choose to have uh, column sections, notify the analysis. Let's just go by column sections, uh, 450, right there, by 450, okay? So I will change that to 450, just like this. Okay. Click on the OK options. Then for this provisions, I will change it to 350. Okay. So I will have here to be 350, just like this. So in building design, sometimes you try sections. Okay. You have to try subsection so that you won't over design this uh, structural element successfully. So, here I will be using 300. Okay. I have here to be 300. Okay. The 100. Okay. All right. Just like this, click on the close option. So having this successfully, I will get back to save the project. And then I will have to rerun the analysis again. Click on the building analysis. Analysis, click here. So once I make changes to this structure, it tends to effect, affect the, the compositions uh, that take place as story one. I click on the OK options and then I will close this right away. Get to the composition, load the composition, select story one, and then calculate the slab load right there. After which, I click on the OK options. After analysis completed, I click on closed. I get to edit analysis, and then analysis. I click right there. So I will do an analysis again. All right, so you see, the analysis is completed successfully. You can now simulate the story drift, satisfy limit, okay, in both directions, as you can see. Click on the OK options, and then everything is good now, All right? So this is how you can actually resolve this issue of relative story drift, okay? It is very important, okay? So as to correct any displacement that exceeds the limit, just as I've explained earlier successfully. Okay, you cannot proceed to this uh, to cut out the design of the reinforced concrete uh, members, the beams, the columns, as well as the slab successfully of this uh, structure. Okay, so here we stopped. 
uh, see you in the next presentation. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can check the description of this video. There are some uh, templates right there that you can use to ease your structural detail drawings uh, processes. Okay, so bye for now.